I'm joined now by political analyst Paul Williams from Griffith University. Paul, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. Pleasure, Michael. How do you see the result falling tomorrow? Look, I'm still tipping a narrow LNP victory. Uh, obviously, we're going to see a huge swing against the LNP, not just in Brisbane, but uh, right across the state, especially in the north. So I'm tipping a swing of about 9% after preferences. Uh, and uh, that puts the LNP uh, returned with a small majority, probably about 48 seats I'm tipping, uh, and about 25 for the Labor Party. So that make, would make them about 35 seats uh, in the new parliament, much more evenly balanced. But uh, LNP just over the line. And that's a big turnaround uh, for a government that has this thumping majority uh, annihilated the Labor Party in 2012. But uh, I suppose if that is the case, says a lot about how the government has put so many people offside over the last three years. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. That's the, the received wisdom that, uh, that Campbell Newman has just uh, made too many enemies, as it were, in his first year of school, if you like. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's uh, antagonised a number of sectional pressure groups uh, and they've reached critical mass. So there's a lot of people out there with an axe to grind, uh, not just public servants, but uh, teachers, nurses. Uh, and even the police union came out and condemned Campbell Newman during the campaign. So it seems like he's just got too many, too many, uh, too many enemies and not enough friends to get him over the line. Let's go to the Premier's own seat now. Of course, he's in that tussle with Kate Jones, the woman he unseated, the former member and minister uh, in Ashgrove. Uh, how do you see that going tomorrow? Look, again, the opinion polls tell us that uh, you know if you're a betting person, you'd, you'd go for Kate Jones. It's it's uh, about two out of three or three out of four chance that Kate Jones is going to take that seat. Uh, she's currently eight points ahead after preferences of, of the Premier, which is exactly the inverse of where. Uh, the Premier and Kate Jones were back in 2012. Very hard to make up that ground. Uh, the Premier's on 42% of the primary vote. Very hard to make up 9 or 10% of the preferences when there's only other two other candidates. So Kate Jones looks like the next member for Ashgrove and, and, uh, and uh, Premier Newman out of a job. OK, and if that happens, Campbell Newman loses. What, what do you see as his options? What, what do you expect him to do? Look, I, I think, you know, Premier Newman's done a lot of things in his life. He was in the army, he's been an engineer, he's been in business. You know, he's, he's the kind of move-on guy. I think he'll take this on the chin. Uh, he's always said he, he did this for a job. He didn't need a job. He wanted to do a service for Queensland. And look, I think he'll move on and he'll he'll find a very comfortable spot somewhere in business or, or, or something like that. Um, and look, I think, you know, he'll be happy. He feels he served his time for Brisbane and Queensland. I think he'll be happy to move on. And the heir apparent would be Tim Nichols, uh, the Treasurer, our guest on the program a short time ago. Yeah, look, Tim Nichols, is, the conventional wisdom against being Tim Nichols is, has the numbers in the in the current party room. He's in the in the dominant faction. Uh, he's holds a safe Brisbane seat. He's got some runs on the board as a very competent minister. But the feedback I'm getting is that he's going to get a run for his money from Lawrence Springborg, the old former National Party yeah. leader and founder of the LNP. Uh, and uh, look, I think it'll be between those two. It'll be very close, Tim Nichols or Lawrence Springborg. How do you believe Anastasia Palaszczuk has, has run her campaign? Uh, of course, she was unknown to a lot of voters still at the start of the campaign. How do you rate her performance? I think Anastasia and the Labor Party have probably done the best they can with very limited resources. Obviously, they didn't get a lot of money because of the poor returns in 2012. People aren't donating to the Labor Party because it's not, you know, no, no real chance of forming government. And uh, she, she's a pretty inexperienced leader but I think she's done the best that she, she's could. She's been a plotter. There's a bit of sympathy out there for her as, as a bit of the underdog. Uh, obviously a huge gaffe yesterday with the GST mm. but uh, you know Labor's had a very solid plotting uh, campaign. It hasn't set the world on fire but, but not too bad. A lot of talk about the impact of federal factors, including the decision to knight Prince Philip on this state campaign. How do you see that playing out tomorrow? Look, federal factors are huge uh, here in Queensland, as they were in Victoria uh, last year. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, a lot of the anti-LNP vote uh, will also contain a lot of anti-Tony Abbott vote. Uh, federal factors are huge. Obviously, things like the Medicare reforms, uni reforms, uh, not to mention uh, things like the Medicare backflip and the, the, the announcement of the knighthood. This is all. These are all hot topics uh, in Queensland, and uh, there's no doubt that uh, a lot of voters will vote against Ca uh, Campbell Newman because they don't like Tony Abbott. OK, so Tony Abbott not doing Campbell Newman any real favours, particularly in the course of the last week. No, not at all. And uh, look, and clearly I think when, if and when the big swing comes against the Newman government, I'm, and again I'm tipping around about 9%, I think we'll see some state recriminations and some fingers pointed at Canberra. OK, and, and finally, if uh, you're right and the Liberal National Party suffers this big swing but scrambles back into office, do you see a different tone, uh, whoever the new Premier is, a different strategy, a different approach to the way government is run? Look, I think you'll see a very very different, almost unrecognisable government from the first from the first uh, government because they, they realise that they can't carry on as they were. And especially if Lawrence Springbull becomes Premier, I think you'll see a much more um, heavily uh, focused uh, government on the regions. You'll probably see agriculture assume a bigger a role uh, so it doesn't come at the expense of mining. And, uh, and you'll probably see a much more conciliatory, uh, consensual government. Paul Williams from Griffith University, as always, thank you very much for your analysis. My pleasure.